will be really hot if you're wearing jeans yeah. today, right? Because we do anticipate seeing temperatures topping 90 degrees. Plus, we have some sunshine out there and the humidity is up. So when you add all that together, it's definitely feeling a little steamy, a little more on the tropical side today. Thankfully, not officially tropical. That's reserved for folks down along the Gulf Coast still dealing with what was once tropical storm Cindy. They're getting a lot of rain from that still at this point from Texas all the way through to the Florida Panhandle, but it's no longer tropical storm Cindy. It was tropical storm Cindy, but now down to 35 miles per hour. So below tropical storm status movement is north at about 13 miles per hour, pretty quickly becoming just a remnant low, but the moisture from Cindy will continue to impact folks across the Ohio River Valley into the weekend. We are getting a little more moisture up here, potentially a bit more cloud cover and a slightly better afternoon shower chance in the mix due to Cindy as well. Not directly, but just because the flow is such that it's pulling in a little bit more moisture now for us. We've got 84 degrees right now at Gary, 83 for Joliet, 84 for Midway, and about 84 degrees as well at O'Hare. Let's take a peek at what O'Hare is expected to do through the day. You can see here uh, maybe some scattered activity, but for the most part, it's just a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures up around 90 for the high, but by about 11 o'clock tonight, we're looking at showers and storms coming through as a cold front slices through all this heat and humidity. And when that happens, we're going to see showers and storms spark up, potentially becoming severe uh, a little bit later on tonight. Right now, you can see just a few scattered showers out near Rockford, but watch the future cast as we move through time. May see a little bit of scattered activity this evening, but but this is where it's all kind of uh, going to condense and become a bit more of an interesting setup. This is at about 1230. Now, a lot of the models have this sort of decaying as it moves down through here since we've lost the heat of the day, but we could potentially see some isolated strong to severe storms in the mix with this, and that continues through the overnight, clearing pretty early in the day on Friday, and then a nice clearing trend will play itself out. Cooler temperatures coming in, but uh, the Storm Prediction Center has placed us because of that overnight activity and a slight risk for severe storms in the yellow shaded counties and that stretches up into Wisconsin. Green shaded areas and a marginal risk for severe storms, and that's just farther south, south of I-80. So for today, partly sunny and hot, 91, your high temperature out there. We're looking at temps dropping overnight, but not a whole lot. 71, the overnight low. Storms are likely a slight chance of severe storms as well, as you'll remember, and that's going to continue into the early part of the day on Friday. We'll see those storms clear pretty quickly Friday morning. We're left with a high of about 80 on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we're in the 70s, still very comfortable a little more in the way of sunshine out there, and we are expecting to find temps back up into the 80s by the middle of next week, Aaron.